Okay, hi Virgo girls, welcome back to my channel. Guys, if you're new here, welcome. And if you are returning, thank you so much for supporting the channel. So we're going to go ahead and do a love message for my Virgos that are dealing with an air sign, an Aquarius, Libra or a Gemini. Now this is a general message, so it may not resonate with everyone. Take the parts that resonate for you Virgos and leave the rest, okay? Anybody interested in a personal reading, my information is always down below. Thanks to those who do reach out for those. And thank you to those who donate to the channel and to those of you who do subscribe. It's very much appreciated. So happy Valentine's Day to those of you who do celebrate it, okay? But let's see what the energy is like for my Virgos dealing with an air sign. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you. So the first card coming out here is past life relationship. It says you have known each other before. But see, now I'm hearing, but I've got to let it go. Looks like another TKO. So someone feel, it feels like someone here has given up given up on this um, situation show me going forward this card has come out what three times today it tried to come out four times so uh, for all elements so that's really weird but you have going forward it says worth waiting for it says divine timing is at work in your love life so show me what this is my virgo is dealing with an air sign an aquarius libra or a gemini thank you spirit Oh, lots and lots. So I'm going to take the two that are turned up, uh, but let's see what these are. We have the cross and we have the book. Almost makes me feel like someone here has been studying you, Virgos, or they've been studying something, getting more information. So the cross talks about duty, it talks about burden, it talks about big problems, grief, religious. And it talks about fate, okay? So there could be some sort of difference between you and this person in terms of religion or tradition or beliefs, right? Um, could even be race for some of you. But then you have the book which talks about education, knowledge, research, unknown, mystery and secrets. Do you know what this is making me feel like for real? It's making me feel like religion and spirituality. But let's take what came out. So the first one coming out is a man and it talks about you could be married to this person. It's a husband energy. Um, this is someone who may also be questioning themselves. Oh, I heard questioning themselves in terms of what they believe, what makes sense to them. And then going forward, we have the ring, which talks about promise, commitment, partnership, deal, contract and cycle. So for some of you, you could be going into some sort of commitment with this air sign with the worth waiting for Virgo's dealing with an air sign thank you spirit Aquarius, Libra or Gemini give me six cards so the first one you have coming out is healing it says releasing, purifying and cleansing And then you have clouded judgment. It says illusions, unbalanced and distorted. You have obsession. It says infatuation, adoration and addiction. I'm hearing that song, man, the songs today. Um, who sings this? Oh, I'm hearing might as well face it. I'm addicted to love. I remember one time, yeah, when Spirit used to give me the same songs all the time. And I remember one time saying to Spirit, Spirit, can we can we upgrade this jukebox that you got in my head? And now they're just flinging me songs left and right where I'm just like, who is that? Who's that? Who's that? I know the songs, but to keep up with all the names and artists. Oh, we have the curse card coming out. It says Hex, Witchcraft and Negative Mind. All right, Spirit, clarify these cards. Virgo's dealing with an air sign. What is healing? So they're showing me two. So you have conflicted. It says clashing, differences, incompatibility. And then that's the energy I was picking up from these cards that came out. I don't know which deck it was. <laughs> so, and then we have beginnings. It says try again. It says new direction, start over. What is this? Clinging, holding on, obsessing and spying. 
for some of you, I feel like this is someone that is trying to move on from you, right? With the song at the beginning, looks like another TKO. But I don't know, that there's some sort of a pull here. Divine Feminine at the bottom of the deck. What is Cloudy Judgment? You have Exhaustion. It says Drained Long Journey. I feel like with this, I mean, there could be um, distance between you and this person here, right? But I feel like this is also uh, some sort of exhaustion in this person's mind. And you are dealing with an air sign, okay? And air signs do, you know, tend to kind of overthink or hold things back with the silence here. Or maybe you're the one that's silent here, Virgos. What is obsession? You have hopeless. It says sink in despair and falling apart. What's this curse? Anytime I get the curse card with the intimacy, it makes me feel like some sort of sex magic or um, like I said, it could just be that maybe this person is in a negative mindset, right? Um, give me one more for this curse. Finality, it says farewells, leave behind and closure. Okay, so if it didn't mean something else like black magic, it tells me that something here is over. Um, now, for some of you, I have been saying, you know, over in some of these readings where your person, if this is your person, right, they could have had some sort of curse on them. What is curse and finality? Yeah, for some of you, this may have been like some sort of sex magic or some sort of love spell. All right, spirit, give me some cards. Virgos dealing with an air sign, an Aquarius, Libra or a Gemini. Give me a clear message. That was the hanged man. So we have the Sun card. Yeah, and that was the Four of Cups trying to come out. This is someone who feels like they missed some sort of opportunity here with you. We have the Emperor coming out in the upright. What's the Sun card? Hmm. You have the Star and the World. Some of us, I don't know, you could be a healer of some sort. Maybe you have some sort of platform with this world card. But I'm also getting this energy where you make this person happy. It's almost like you, I don't know, it's almost like you give them some sort of positivity here. Or maybe you help to lift their vibrations. Um, okay. It's almost like they feel complete with you. What's the four cups? Look at that. We have the emperor and the empress. Past life connection here. They feel like they missed an opportunity with the empress. Give me one more for the four of cups and the empress. And the death card. Yeah, they feel like you've changed. What's the Emperor? King of Swords coming out. So there's this energy here. King of Swords with the Emperor. This to me is, is giving um, someone who has taken some sort of control of their life here. What's the Emperor and the King of Swords? The Strength card. Leo Energy. Someone could have Leo heavy in their chart with the strength and the sun out here. This is someone who's sitting in their power. This could also be someone who's trying to build something for themselves. But I also feel like with the King of Swords coming out here, this is someone who is seeing some sort of truth or they've got some sort of clarity maybe about what this connection is. Show me going forward. What is worth waiting for in the ring? 
Virgo is dealing with an air sign, an Aquarius, Libra or a Gemini. You have the Five of Swords landed on that conflict and healing. You have the Justice. We have the Five of Wands in the reverse. What's the Five of Swords? Coming out sideways, landed on the Four of Cups. Okay, so there is something here that this person did, said, or a certain way that they behave, right? The Five of Swords can talk about lies, gossip. It can talk about somebody doing something very much underhanded here, okay? The Five of Swords can also be a very tricky energy. Uh, maybe you're dealing with someone who played a lot of mind games here. But the Five of Swords is that energy of feeling, like I said, defeated here. So whatever they did in the past here, it may have seemed like fun and games at the time, okay? But later down the line, it's an energy of, um, was it a wise choice? Chariot coming out sideways, I feel like this is what's stopping this person from coming towards you here. Or this is what is stopping things from moving forward. What's the justice? You could be dealing with a Libra. You have the Knight of Cups. This is someone who's wanting to come towards you now and do the right thing. The justice talks about someone who has learned their lesson. Nine of Swords at the bottom of the deck, Six of Pentacles, Ace of Swords, and the Ace of Pentacles. For some of you, this person may want to give you something here. Where's the Five of Wands in the reverse? So this is some energy of coming to some sort of compromise, no longer wanting to fight, okay? For some of you, this is an energy of no longer putting you in third-party situations or no longer allowing other people to affect this relationship. What's the Five of Wands? Yeah, Six of Wands at the bottom of the deck. This is moving forward. Nine of Pentacles. For some of you, this could even be an energy of making something public. What's the Five of Wands in the reverse? Three of Cups. They want to celebrate. This is reunited and it feels so good. But they are in their head with that Eight of Swords. So, Spirit, tell me how this air sign feels about Virgo. Give me four cards. What's their feelings for Virgo? You are worthy, Virgos. Nice. It says your worth doesn't depend on the other person. And I did see the Nine of Pentacles. So that could also be what is attracting this person to you. You being in a very much single, independent, self-sufficient energy here. You showing that you can hold your own. It's that energy of you don't need a partner, but you would like one kind of an energy. Show me more. How do they feel about Virgo? Can I get three more cards? And two more. Oh, that's a lot. Thank you, Spirit. So, I am seeing open your heart. It says, love is the highest energy of all. It says, let it in. Okay, I just had to make sure my phone was still charging. <laughs> right, you have material attachment. It says, too much focus on visible trappings. So this could have been someone who was very materialistic. I'm, I'm hearing um, this is someone who would be easy to tempt, especially if it was to do with material things. You have bonding. It says as you get to know each other, you discover many things in common. Yeah, so I felt like that energy where someone here may have been doing some sort of research. And then we have twin flame recognition. It says, you know, this soul that mirrors your own. Past life relationship. You have known each other before. Spirit, give me four cards for this situation. Let me just see how I'm doing for time, guys. Okay. Give me four cards. Virgo's dealing with an air sign. Thank you. Uh, okay, that is four. I was going to say one more, so let's see. Is there another card here, Spirit? Okay, wow. This person dreams about you. You have learn at the bottom of the deck. It says, let love show you how to learn from each other. So emphasis on this learning, okay? So emphasis on this person. I feel like I want to say putting the work in to change here. 
change some things about themselves, change maybe the way they see things, right? The way they behave. But let's see, we have challenges. It says a true soul connection involves challenges that can be overcome together. You have dreams. It says share your dreams together and encourage each other to make them a reality. You have past lives. <laughs> Confirmation again. It says we reunite our loved. We reunite with our loved ones over and over again through many different lives. So I don't know many I don't know how many lifetimes you have had with this person. You have heart. Maybe you've had to repeat lifetimes until they learn some sort of lesson. You have heart. It says you begin to feel your heart beat faster when you are close. So you may make this person nervous. You have enlightenment. It says with enlightenment, there is no separation. It says we recognize that we are one with divine. So again, going back to that thing where there may be some issues here with religion and spirituality or just differences in beliefs. You have soul. It says your soul is preparing to reconnect. It says trust in the process. So Some of you are going to get back with this air sign. You have remarkable. It says notice everything remarkable about your relationship. Hmm. Okay, so you have honor. It says honor your loved one and you will notice your relationship become stronger. It's almost like I'm hearing put some respect on my name. I don't know, that's what I'm hearing. <laughs> so, spirit, show me a little bit more about this person. Give me four cards. Virgo's dealing with an air sign in Aquarius, Libra or a Gemini. And two more. Oh, this person want to seduce you. Or that's how they betrayed you. Like flirting, interfering. I mean, not interfering, but having third party um, interference here. But you have stabbed in the back. But show me two more cards. That was a lot. Thank you, Spirit. So you have heartbroken. Oh. It says deeply hurt, sad, separation, breaking up, feeling lost, grieving, mourning. You have palm tree. It says stability, security, performance, growth, endurance, and flexibility. You have soulmates out here. It says soul connection, partnership, agreement, soul contract. You have Cupid's arrow. It says have faith. It says love is coming, surprise, invitation or meeting. It says hesitation. And then you have this coffee cup. It says meeting and conversing, savoring the moment. It says feeling uplifted and it says friendship. So for some of you, it makes me feel like, hey, this person's like, hey, even if we be friends, there's that energy of, I just need you in my life. That's how I'm feeling. Four cards. Thank you. You have dollar sign. It says, make it rain. Mm. So this see with this person, like I said, maybe both of you are on that type of time, right? Because I'm seeing the empress and the emperor out here. Maybe both of you are just kind of focused on your money, stability, or this is someone who sees that, you know what? You, you just kind of focused on your pentacles here, Virgos. You know, the empress is an energy of someone who's very abundant. She can manifest whatever it is that she wants. You have, you think someone is lying. It says they are. Mm. You have, you need a big fucking hug. It says squeeze. And then you have, you're the shit. It says don't forget it. Spirit, give me two cards for going forward for my Virgos dealing with an air sign. And one more. Thank you. Yeah, I'm telling you, this is for some of you, this is someone who's had some sort of awakening, man, or it's that hangman energy, right? Where even though that they may be seeing something from a different perspective, there's still a lack of direction here. And I feel like the lack of direction is how to approach you or even if they should. But you have wake up. It says it's your moment. 
Now you do have an, a moment's regret, okay? And it says nostalgia. It says idolizing the past. It says fearing you've made a mistake. Yeah. But we also have here, Virgos, it says becoming braver. And it says resilience. It says experience. It says growing stronger. It says fresh perspective. What did I just say? So this is someone who I like it only because it kind of feels like this is someone who is in this energy of accountability, right? I know I messed up. I know this. I know that. Okay. It's time for me to do things the right way. And I don't know, Virgos. It's that energy of with or without you, right? So give me two cards to end this reading. Thank you, Spirit. Virgo's dealing with an air sign. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you. So, your first one is, it says, forgiveness. It says, stop focusing your energy on past events. It says, for life is too precious to waste. It says, you create your reality by what you think, dream, and imagine. And then you have sexual union. And it says, honor the place in one another where you are one eternal soul, for there you will find true bliss. And it almost makes me think like of the magician, right? Which is your and Gemini energy. But Virgos, this is what I have for you. If you are dealing with an air sign, guys, if anything did resonate with you, I do answer you. Hit the thumbs up for me. Subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell so you know that I've uploaded. But if this is where we part, guys, stay safe. Have a good Valentine's Day. Virgos, bye.